Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can enable the second space at the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G. Yeah, the second space is, uh, yeah, as the name says, a second space. So that means that you can have one space for your private stuff and one space for your business stuff. Or one space for your private stuff and one space for your very private stuff. So let me show you what I mean. So for that, just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings. Then scroll down to the point biometrics and security. And here you have the point secure folder. Okay, first of all, of all you need to, to go on to continue. And now you have to log in with your Samsung account. In case you don't have a Samsung account, you can create just one. Or you can also use your Google account to create a Samsung account. After you've done that, just go on continue. And then the phone will create this secure folder. You will see also here some stuff you can do with that secure folder. And yeah, that takes a few seconds. So this is the reason why I will forward the video now. Okay, now we are here at the next point uh, for the security because we can um, save our data there with pins and passwords and so on. So I will take the pin. So four times the nine is my pin here for that secure folder. You can choose another one if you want. You can also um, go in the checkbox here to confirm without tapping OK. Always go next. Confirm your password. No? In my case, four times the nine. No? Go now done. And uh, now we can um, yeah, do some stuff with the Samsung account. I cancel this one because it takes too much time. And I can also here add a fingerprint. No? I will skip that also because uh, it takes too much time as well. And now the phone will show you the secure folder. So this area is a complete independent area né? with own apps and so on. So with own calendar, with own camera, contacts and so on. So that means everything what you write here in the calendar will stay here in the calendar. It is only visible at a secure folder. Same with the camera pictures. All the camera pictures you're doing here from the secure folder are only stay here at the gallery of the secure folder. Same with the contacts. You can have an own contact list just visible in the secure folder. Uh, the gallery is uh, clear. Uh, all the pictures you've done here will stay in the gallery as well. You can transfer also pictures later here uh, from your first space. No? So for that, just go on three points. No? Go then on add files and you can add some existing images maybe of your phone. Maybe if this guy is uncomfortable for you, so just transfer him here to um, uh, the secure folder. Just go on done and you can move the data completely or copy it. No? If you want to leave a copy there, no, I think go and move, then it's no more visible there. No? Okay, now the phone is uh, transferring the files. The same thing, by the way, you can do later also here with uh, documents like PDF files, audios, videos, and other stuff. Okay, also here the internet browsing history, by the way. It's an own, yeah, it's an own browser. All the websites you're surfing uh, here, uh, this uh, browsing history will be only visible here at a secure folder. Huh? Also here with PDF files and some notes of you. And you can add also apps here on this secure folder. For that, just go here on the plus symbol and now you can um, clone one of your, your existing apps uh, on the phone. Um, or you can also download some new apps which one are not at your phone right now. And for that, just uh, sign in with your Google account or um, yeah, uh, uh, you can use also a second uh, uh, Google email address here for this extra account. Think about this, it's, only, it's, 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 a, it's an, an another space, no? so it's a second space. So you can choose also a second Google account here. So. Just download the apps and the stuff you want to have, and then it's fine. Um, important to know is, your, if you want to have this as a private space, the notifications of these apps, of the, of, of the secure folder in general, will appear in the notification panel. So you don't see the content. Uh, if someone writes you maybe uh, yeah, an app uh, on an app or in, on a WhatsApp, on a second WhatsApp account here, then it will be visible uh, that uh, someone wrote you uh, on this um, special app, no? but the content is hidden. 
But if you don't want that someone sees that you have that app here on the phone, so that means that you have to stop the notifications from that app as well. And for that, just go here on the three points, go on the point settings, and then go on the point apps, and then you should choose the app you want to have, also you want to have no notifications from. Um, just an example here, go to the calendar and go your notifications and remove the notifications uh, here to deliver quietly. I'm sorry, you, you can to deliver it quietly. Huh? So then the one would see, would see that you have the calendar on also, or the app you want to, uh, uh, you want to hide uh, on your phone. Okay, let me go back here. I want to show you something else because if you are back now in your main space, no? You will find here always the secure folder at the app drawer. No? Just go here in the app drawer and here we'll find the secure folder. And here are your hidden data. But where, where is the password? Where is the PIN? No? Uh, yes, the PIN is there, but you have to go at first here on standby by default. And if I enter it, then again, the secure folder is locked. No? If I enter now four times the nine, I'm in my secure folder. If you say, okay, you don't want that it's a uh, so, so simple um, with security here and that uh, you can enter it if you're doing a session, um, then you can change this um, auto lock by just tapping on three points, go on the settings, and then you will have here the second point auto lock secure folder. So that means um, now you have when the screen turns off, no? so if you go on standby mode, you can change it to another time. If you want to have after five minutes basically locked, you can enter this one, or you can also enable the first one here. Each time if you're leaving an app, anyhow, it's if it's a secure folder or an app in the secure folder, no? the secure folder will automatically be locked. And if you say, okay, you don't want to have this uh, locked folder because you want to use it as a business account, it's too much for you, then choose the last point here when the phone restarts. So that means if you turn your phone off, the next time if you turn it on, you have to enter the pin first to have access to your secure folder. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and uh, show you something new here for your phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. Uh, that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in, or maybe just subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support and uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.